Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Align Plants. How are you? I'm, I'm guessing that you're a little bit better than I am today. Uh, in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be doing a little bit of swatches, a little bit of inking. I do have some new inks in front of me. I do have um, a, a little bit of some bad news to share as well. Maybe it won't be bad news to you. It's absolutely devastating to me. If you love ink, it will be just equally devastating. So we'll get that out of the way. And um, we will just kind of make our way through some of the new inks that I have purchased and we'll do a little bit of swatches. And then I will show you which pen, which one of my pens is going to be getting what. So if that sounds good, then let's just get right into it. Let's not waste any time. And of course, if this is the first time that we're meeting, well, hello, my name is Meshi. I'm the person here behind the line plans and we, we talk a couple of times a week about anything and everything that has to do with stationery, with planning. Notice Noah. And, um, and it's all about the planner love, the journaling, the fountain pens, the all of the things. So if you love all of those things and you love pen, you love pens and you love books, then you should definitely hang out with me more often and you should definitely subscribe because obviously we have a lot of fun here. Now let's get into the bad news. What's the bad news? I'm just going to show you so that you understand me. This was full about half an hour ago. This is Foxglove from the Troublemaker. And wait, it gets worse. And then this is what I have left of Queen Allium from Ferris Wheel Press. I was trying to decide between these two because um, I wanted to pick like purple. And so Noah basically dumped both of them. And so what you see here, that's all I have left of foxglove. And so right now we're frantically trying to actually just find a replacement bottle. I don't care so much for Queen Allium. It's a nice color, but but this one is a little upsetting. And I didn't realize how upsetting until I looked at it. I cleaned it up and then and then I I'm just I'm having a hard time. But anyway, uh, let me just clean my syringe and we'll get into swatching real quick so that I can emotionally get over this. I do have a really cool lineup and I wanted to do it. I've already unboxed it because I just needed to see like what this was all about. I picked up the Kakimori. Um, this is the actual shaft of the pen. Thank you. So this is what you get. You get basically that wooden handle. Here she is. So this is what came in this really beautiful packaging. And then I also picked up the actual stainless steel um, nib that came in a totally separate package. Let me just grab it. So this is the cute little, so this is the metal nib. This is the stainless steel nib. I am going to look for the, the brass nib so that I have it for my collection. But, oh, but for today, we're going to be using this not only to swatch everything, but to kind of test out the inks. And I think I'm also going to be using a brush as well, just so that we have like a nice variety. So let me just get the packaging out of the way because we really don't need it. Now the pens that I'm going to be inking, first one is a Lamy. I believe that this is a left-handed. Yeah, it's a left-hander nib. Um, it To me, it kind of writes like a broad, but or like a medium. I still really like this pen. I don't use it nearly as often, so I'm going to just kind of pick something kind of predictable because sometimes I just want to take like a really predictable ink with me. Um, let's take a look at next. We also have the Ferris wheel press. This is in a fine nib. So uh, we're going to be inking that. And then I also have two of my Kaweco Sports. Now, the reason why I don't have all of my pens here is because Twisby, I'm not actually changing the ink. I'm going to keep the same pink color in there that I was swatching last time, which is still working out great. And then I also have the white and the blue Kaweco Sports, and these both already have the ink in there that I really wanted to use, but we will actually swatch it. So 
Now let's get into the inks. Let's talk about the inks besides Foxglove and this devastation. Um, I'm still going to try to use up the, whatever's left in Fox Club before I actually replace it. But let's talk about the new stuff, the one that just arrived, the one that I'm like quite excited about. So first up, um, I picked up from guitar, from guitar fountain pen ink, I picked up Orchestra Tangerine. It's like, it's so beautiful. Then next up, I've dove right into a brand new, a brand new brand. This is this is Lennon to a bar fountain pen ink and the two colors that I picked up I just wanted to pick up at least two of them see how they work out let me just zoom in so the first one is the first one is called Mulong tea and the second one is called um I mean I'm butchering this but it's Ho Ko Po which it which kind of loosely translates to tiger aunt and I'm just going to show you no I'm not going to show you let me just grab a couple of a couple of swatching uh, papers here we go here we go so there's two and if you're wondering I also have my coffee here Totally forgot to update you on this. This is um, a brew from, I will pop a picture of it here. It's from Starbucks. The creamer is a mix between a French vanilla vegan creamer, as well as the, I believe it's an oat based, oat and honey based creamer from Starbucks. So there you have it. Let me know in the comment section below, by the way, what you're drinking, if you're drinking anything. Okay. So let's start first with Orchestra Tangerine. And let me just get you guys zoomed right in. So this is what she looks like. Again, uh, I'm not really using a lot of lights right now. We're just using natural lights. So what we will do is once all the swatches are done, I will also show you uh, a swatch in actual natural sunlight. Now let's take a look at the next one. This one is called Mazina Tea. No, Mazona tea. So here's a little story about Mazona tea. And I'm, I mean, I'm going to just show you, I've already kind of done a little swatcheroo, but it comes with like this little storyline within. So, I mean, I ended up pasting it right into my planner because it was just so cute. But after Amazona was tumbling in boiling hot water for several hours, a thick and black fairy grass tea was dissolved. The whole kitchen is filled with the fragrance of Mazona. At this point, you can decide whether you want to make smooth jelly or cool annealed Mazona tea. The cold fairy grass will be one of the best foods of food of the summer. And warm Mazona tea can also warm your stomach and let you spend a winter night. So obviously it's more of a coolish gray that we're dealing with. But I mean, just, first of all, I have a thing for, for inks where there's like a whole story behind it. It's sort of like a grayish brown, like a deep dark brown. It's very interesting. And I wanted something different other than just black or, I don't know, I wanted to add like a little bit of interest. So this is Mazona tea. Oh. Um, 
my worry with this ink. By the way, that's not the ink's fault. That's my fault that I don't know how to use this tip just yet, but that's okay. Practice, friends, practice. So these are the first two that I have swatched. Let me grab more pen, more. Here is one and two. I'm going to now swatch this guy. And this is Aunt Tiger. Now I also I also have this is actually one of the first ink bottles that we have purchased. This was actually selected by my was it selected by my husband? It was either me or my husband that have selected this. This is from Sailor. This is the Shiki Ori, and the the color is called Shigori. I I have to I already swatched this in one of my um, books, but. It's a very, at first, I honestly, I did not care for this, but it's growing on me and you'll see why. I didn't realize that this color actually has, so right now it looks black on the edge is drying into this really beautiful deep purple but it also has some shimmer which is kind of what makes it really interesting in my opinion so this is called shigori with the words of a lullaby. by Again, I'm going to give this a minute until it dries so you can take a look. I don't think we need to swatch Foxglove. I will just show you a swatch here because I already have... I already have a swatch card for it, but it's a very stunning purple. So that's also coming up. And um, here they are. So here is my little swatch page i also tried out um this one we're not gonna worry about it but here's queen allium here's shikiori um this is the sailor color here's fox glove here is um tangerine orchestra here's here's on tiger and here is masona tea so you can kind of see it a little bit more in real light but i also briefly wanted to kind of talk about the tip part of me really want i'm so intrigued by this only because it holds it holds so much more ink again don't mind my fingers um it holds so much more ink than just a glass dip pen so i'm very excited to at least give it a try and play around with it and i wanted to also show you guys a little bit of um of a haul because beyond just me buying inks i actually picked up a couple of things from from Paper Plus Cloth, so I thought that I would just show you. It's nothing major, but I picked up a small little series. This one is from 
Sw I think it's from Swatelier. Yep, it's both of them are actually from Swatelier. So this one has like the little bears and this one is the daily stickers. Again, I didn't want to go too crazy with the stickers only because I knew that I really wanted to more fo place more of a focus on the inks because they were more, they were the bulk of my order. Um, I also bought, obviously I showed you the shaft and the, the tip. And then I also picked up, this is just for, for, from Midori. This is the converter that will go with the Midori pen. So I'm actually excited to, uh, to swap out the ink because then I can kind of use the converter and just kind of make life a little bit easier in that regard. So let me just move everything out of the way. Let me ink up my pens and I will show you a real close up of all of the colors that I have chosen. I feel like we're kind of moving into a different direction right now. I wanted to show you also the, the other two colors that we have. So the other color that I picked up recently, which we can actually do a swatch for, is Sea Glass. Do I already have? Yeah, I already have a swatch card for this, but um, and we already have like one of my pens already inked up with this. So that will kind of continue because I, I inked this up like maybe about a week ago. So this is what this guy looks like. This is from Troublemaker. And then the other thing that I have picked up just recently is actually a sample. This is a sample from Pilot. So this one is the Pilot Airy. Iroshizuku Tsukiyo. Now here's the kicker. If you look back on my previous video where I was unboxing the little Happy Mail that I received from, from Brittany, she has already sent me a sample of this and then now I end not realizing this, I ended up actually purchasing like another two mil bottle from, from Wonder Pants. But I'm happy to swatch it nevertheless. I think it's it's always fun when you can just kind of swatch some of your colors, some of your favorite colors, by the way. Let me just move them out of the way. I think I'm just going to use this page so that you can see. I was going to use this page for something else, but that's okay. So here she is in all of its glory. I'm going to give that a moment to dry and then I can show you guys a full close up of all the colors. But we have two, four, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Yeah, so we have seven pens and we have seven colors. We're doing good. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. I also briefly wanted to mention, I will literally just add like little swatch cards here on the screen, but I would love to know, first of all, what are you adding onto your like wish list for next month? For me, I will add at least three because I'm looking right at it on my card. I know it's a, it's a thing right now. I, I knew that I would have a thing for, I knew that, that well, Pilot is going to be a thing for me, Troublemaker is a thing for me, and I had a feeling that um, Lennon Bar Tool is going to be a thing. My only issue with this is that it's a little bit pricier. So anything that I buy, like I can basically buy two bottles of Troublemaker for the price of me buying one bottle of Lennon Tool, tool Bar. So I kind of want to pace myself. I feel the same about that ink as I do about Guitar Fountain Pen ink, where it's like, 
I can only find it in like one place and then when I find it I just kind of want to marvel in that experience because there aren't like too many retailers that sell it so it's not like ferris wheel press that's like so readily available everywhere you go it's more like okay there's like one or two places that sell it and when it's out of stock then it's out of stock and you're kind of you know <laughs> good luck here's your second question of the day let me know in the comment section below what is something that you're currently eyeing for the next month or two that you're really longing for in fountain pen inks or is it a pen perhaps that you're eyeing let me know either way uh, I think this is all I wanted to share with you. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe. You can do all the things. And yeah, thanks so much for hanging out. I really do appreciate you. And of course, you can send your condolences for the empty bottles. Um, it will be very well received. Trust me, because I'm still kind of shook. I can't believe that he dumped an two, bot two full bottles, dumps two bottles of ink. Well, my son, apparently. Um, anyways, I'll get over it. I promise just right this moment is not the moment when I'm over it just yet But um, I'm pretty sure that later on by the time I'm editing this video We will all be laughing at how fun it was when we dumped two bottles of fountain pen ink Anyway, thanks so much for hanging out with me you guys um, If you enjoyed this, you know what to do. You can support me here You can also support me on patreon if it if it resonates if it makes sense for you And I cannot wait to see you in my next video Bye